Hey, what's up YouTube? Anaris here with a very interesting Minecraft broadcast. Today I'm going to be reviewing a couple little neat things that I found available to us in Minecraft 1.1. That's right, this is a patch that was released a little while ago, but one of the major features is that it includes eggs for all different types of mobs, animals, whatever. So you see we have almost everything. Now I found that if you take an egg of a chicken or a silverfish, or really anything, you can throw them on a block floating in the air, and they will continue to stack on top of one another rather than spreading out, you know, sliding everywhere. And it creates this giant octopus thing into... I don't even really know what this would be, but I just thought this was really lulzy. And so, this by itself isn't that cool. I mean, it's neat and all, but uh, we're going to follow the train of thought that I had here and eventually end up at something awesome. So you see we have now a ton of these silverfish. We're going to go ahead and throw some chickens on for good measure, too. And now we're going to create this ultimate, like, chicken silverfish death monster thing. Look at it. Just, oh, man. It looks very, very menacing and disgusting. And now that we have enough chickens up here, we're going to go ahead and, well, we're going to whack it. Bam! And you see that everything just flies off like craziness. It's absolute insanity. So... You know, I thought this was pretty cool. Why don't we see if we can expand upon this a little bit? I did some digging, did some thinking, and this is what I came up with. The Chicken Accelerator. This particular device actually is not that complicated. It's relatively simple, but it functions in the same principle. It's larger, so that way you can actually implement any type of animal or creature. Or creature. You simply deposit them down in this little hole, like so, and... There is a torch right here that is powering a sticky piston that is basically holding a that little platform in place. Now, when you remove that, the animals will fall down into this pit, which I will show you right now before we launch it. And here, they're actually still stuck together, and so the only way they have to expand is to go out. Now, you if you have a um, if you decide to launch a mob like a villager or whatever, then you're going to want to use uh, a little bit of a higher pathway. So you're going to want to put it like this. Oops. Da -da -da. And uh, stretch it, stretch it all the way down to here, so that way they have room to come out. But for chickens, I like to go ahead and keep it down to one tall. So let's let's put that back. Doo -doo -doo. I prefer to use ice because, well, ice is awesome. You could see through it. You could see the chickens in action. All right, there we go. So, finally I have here this lever that pushes this forward. This was added on by one of the members of the Minecraft server, Sherlock B. Holmes, and its purpose is to make sure that chickens don't, we don't have any sort of erroneous flying chickens getting out the wrong way. So this is powered. That's good. Doors open. Here is the actual chicken launching area, or this is what I call the ammunition chamber. So we're just going to throw in a bunch of chickens. Now, I don't know exactly know how many chickens it takes, but you'll see that we do have a target at the end, and that's our objective. And I've been measuring the chickens in basically how many, uh, how many frames per second I've been getting while placing them in here. So now that we're just going to keep on dumping them in, and I like to get down to where I have around 20, 30 frames per second if I'm going just for chickens. But I've found that if you throw in what I call an accelerant, which is a mob that is two blocks tall, it stays behind and forces the rest of the chickens out. So that way, you see, what happens is the more chickens you have, the farther they'll fly because there's more mobs in there to push them out. But if you only have a few mobs in there, you know, as time goes by, you'll find that fewer and fewer are left to continue to accelerate the chickens to a greater velocity. So if you have the accelerant mob, then it's very easy to do. He can't go anywhere because he's stuck in that. He's stuck because it's only one tall, and he's just going to keep on pushing those chickens away. So we're going to keep depositing chickens and chickens and more chickens. And again, you could do this with any mob. Just remember to expand the uh, firing chamber up to two high instead of one. And that being the case, also, an accelerant won't really work. So you may want to just dump some chickens in there just to make sure that you've got enough, enough stuff to really cram them down. And I think our frame rate's starting to drop a little bit here, but we're going to keep on going a little bit more. I found that if you have an accelerant in there... Um, it tends to make it so that we only need around 300 chickens instead of around 500, 600, something like that. My, uh, my frame per second really starts to top off at around, uh, around 500 or so. So we'll go ahead and we'll dump a few, a 
a few mobs in there. You see they are they are uh, just going to hang out in there. We have told their families that they are participating in science, so their families are A-OK -okay with that. And finally, make sure that we have our firing area clear. Yes, we do. We shall go ahead and remove this. And boom! There go the chickens! Now let's go see if we have any of reached the target. Oh, it looks like some of them did. We had about 10 or so reach the intended area. And again, the more chickens you have present in the cannon, the more that will travel farther, and you'll have uh, more of their hit the target. So here is our here's our chicken family, which you see, this is what I was talking about. Now there's fewer and fewer chickens in there. You see they're starting to kind of toddle out, not really going so fast. These guys are the stragglers. They don't really care about hitting the target. They're just the, they're the I did my best crowd. So we're going to just butcher them. Butcher 60. Boom, and we are clear and free of lag with one egg laying on the ground. Now, since our since our um, technology here is sponsored by the military uh, of the Anaris Minecraft community, we decided we need to go ahead and discover some sort of a weaponized application for this. And so what we've done is we have created a smaller, more compact, we'll call it mobile for the hell of it, version. And we need to also have some volunteers, so let's go ahead and put these guys up here. Um, don't worry guys, um, you will be completely safe right up until the point where we fire this cannon. So whatever happens after that, I don't know, but you won't fall into the lava pit until that time. So we have a nice little lava pit conveniently located beneath the subject target area. And what we're going to do is place some TNT. Boom, like so. Alright, just takes one. I mean, you could probably squeeze in some more if you really wanted to. But for the purpose of this test, we're looking to, uh... We're looking to weaponize these chickens in as small a compact an area as possible. So, as I deposit these chickens, you'll notice that we are kind of incorporating the previous idea of only using one block, but I also have to make sure that the chickens don't fly out everywhere. That's the purpose of the walls on each side, to kind of guide the chickens as they explode towards their intended destination. Now, for added funsies, if you want to change the block that you see how right now the block I'm throwing it on is obsidian, you can change that to netherrack and ignite the chickens after you have uh, set the TNT off. It's kind of a timing issue that I'm not going to do it for this video because you've got about three chicken clucks before uh, they'll die and they pretty much just this whole thing is a wash but if you ignite it just in time you'll find that all the chickens flying out are indeed fiery chickens pretty interesting stuff there so we're going to go ahead and throw a few more chickens on now i think we're starting to have a little bit of lag but you know what man this is what science is all about all right you guys ready down there ready here we got the chickens Go ahead and ignite the TNT, and we'll watch the chickens hit their targets. Oh, yes! And, oh, look at that. One guy actually fell off. One managed to hold on. Oh, two more go down as well. Oh, those poor guys. Well, thank you for participating in science, guys. I, I do, uh, I do. Thank you, and, oh, 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 God. Oh, the insurance will surely cover that. Oh, okay, you're dead. I don't care. Ah! So, that is it, folks. That is the great chicken weaponizing of patch 1.1. You've seen our evolution from one block stranded in the air. More focused engagement over here, although less lethal by scores and scores. And finally, the modernized, weaponized, portable version of the chicken launcher. That's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Found it at least a little lulzy. I was laughing so hard the first time I did this. But uh, if you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to my channel. That is a good way to help me out. And of course, you'll catch the future videos when they come out. So with that being said, I will see you in the next video.